down most women, particularly really attractive women, assume that most men would sleep with them in a second if they had the opportunity. They assume in most cases that they are choosing or better yet accepting the guy and that he is just going along for the ride. There are several cases of human courtship that both exemplify and make it easy for women to assume this. 1. The man traditionally asks the woman to dance. She can either accept or reject the offer. 2. The man traditionally asks the woman out on a date. She can either accept or reject the offer. 3. The man traditionally asks the woman for her hand in marriage. She can either accept or reject the offer. Perhaps this is why even women, who are interested in a guy, usually don't try to win the guy over. Instead, they attempt to get the guy to win them over. For example, when a beautiful woman finds herself attracted to a man, instead of approaching him, she will do things to get him to notice her, hoping that he will approach her. This is a brilliant frame. Because even though she is the one who is originally interested in the guy, she turns it around by making it up to the guy to try to win her over. This is powerful. Because, not only does it assume that the man likes her, it also assumes that he is trying to be chosen or accepted by her. When we think about it like this, it makes men seem like approval seeking puppy dogs, doesn't it? Women knowing that they are the ones who usually do the choosing is a double-edged sword. On one edge, they have this great power of knowing that most men will easily buy into the frame that women are the prize. But this leaves the other edge of the sword abound with insecurities. For one, women oftentimes have a gnawing fear that a man is only sleeping with them because they chose or accepted him. And that maybe he does not even really like them. For two, oftentimes, if a man views a woman too much as the prize, and is willing to jump through a bazillion hoops for her in hopes of winning her over, she will begin to see him as having little value and self-worth. She will begin to think to herself, why does he feel the need to do all of these things for me? Thoughts will begin racing through her mind such as, do I really want to be with a self-worthless needy desperate man? Many women refer to what I'm talking about as trying too hard. For these reasons, it is my feeling that when a man first meets a woman, one of the best things he can do is to not choose or only tentatively choose or accept her before she has a chance to decide if she is going to choose him. This is one of the best ways to set our meta frame. 1. That you are the prize. 2. That she is trying to get you to like her or trying to win you over. Whether it be in the sense of attraction, acceptance or validation. 3. That she wants you so bad that she is trying to make you sleep with her. 4. The both of you are going to sleep together but only if she lives up to your standards and expectations. Furthermore, even if she does not buy into your meadow frame right away, not choosing her preempts her from not choosing you. Perhaps, this sheds light on why many women are attracted to guys who are assholes. Oftentimes, when a man ignores women and acts like an asshole, they think, why doesn't he accept me? What is wrong with me? How can I get him to accept me? We will talk more about how to do this in near future, especially when we discuss the art of coquetting. Guys, this took me years to figure out. But seriously. It is so powerful. You can start this even before meeting a girl. Before meeting her, never worry thinking. Can I match her standard and expectations? Will she like me? Instead think. Can she match my standard and expectations? Will I like her? This will skyrocket your confidence. And keep you cool and calm. And she will feel the glow of this confidence on your face and in your voice. When you actually meet her face to face.